Heads up! Enemy UAV spotted. What's up? It's Dosmer, and uh, I'm making a tutorial for how to use Twixter in Sony Vegas with as little distortion as possible. And we're just going to get started off right here. And the first thing you're going to want to do is try to find where you want to start the Twixter. And just do this. Find where you want to start the Twixter, which is for me, it's right about here. And you're going to split the clip. Well, actually, first of all, on all your clips, you want to disable resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. I usually don't do that, but the biggest thing you want to do is disable resample for Twixter. Then you're going to go where you want to split the clip and go there and press S on your keyboard to split the clip. Then I like to use the arrow keys to try to find out how far I want to go with my Twixter. there. You want to try to find out where there's little movement as possible. You can see he's only moving his hand in the magazine into the gun. You like That's as much as you want to do. Over here it starts to turn to the side. That'll look really bad when you twister it. So Then you want to play your music and figure out where you want to end it, which is about right here. And then, oops, then you're going to go back to your clip, well you can mark it, go back to your clip and find Twixter Pro. And Twixter is okay to use, that's what I used to use, but you want to use Twixter Pro. And then the default settings are here, but these are my settings. And these are the ones you're going to want to use, which are, load. these are my exact settings. You want display layer all, draw, geom, checks. Just basically, you know, like copy all of these, and you don't really need to worry about track points and all this stuff. Um, but these are my best settings, so you can pause the video here if you need to see them. And then you're going to drag the clip. For well, actually, first you gotta you gotta put in the speed. So I want one. And then the frames, you're going to put it to whatever your frame rate is. And if I check my clip, you can go to general and look. And it should say over here, it's 59.94 FPS under streams. So you want to look at video. You want to look at the frames per second it has. So it's 59.94. I'm going to go to the frame and then put the same exact frame rate. That'll give you the best twixter. Then you're going to drag the clip all the way to wherever you marked it, or wherever you want the twister. And then connect the clip back to there. And you're going to want to make sure that it's synced up correctly. You want to make sure it loads, and if it looks really weird like that, see how it cuts all the way? You want to go from there, and you want to go back to your original video without the twister, and keep dragging it back until it's at the same point in time from the Twixter, so you have to back it up a bit, quite a bit actually, you want to move it to like right there, Let's see it's still jumping, so you just got to keep doing this over and over until you find where it is. Usually what you want to do after you use your Twixture, you want to pre-render it. And you do that by highlighting it and pressing Shift B. And then I'll pre-render this and I'll speed up the video so you don't have to watch. Alright, now that it's done, you can preview it without lag. And you know, do this. Because usually before you pre-render it, you would see a bunch of lag, but now here as you can see. It's loading really well and twixting very well. And so 
it just turns out a lot better now that it's rendered. And look how beautiful that Twixter is. No distortion. And then you can also, you know, you can find all kinds of different places to put it. But most of the time you're going to want something with almost no motion. Like, and around in here, it's all spinning, like the, I'm turning around and everything. But here, the clip is stationary except for the guy moving. So, see right here, if it's a large jolt like that, how my guy dies, then you're not going to want to twixter that. You're going to want to twixter from where I've already split the clip all the way up until that point, probably. So around, I don't know, here maybe. And then you'll split it again, and you'll move this clip out of the way. And you'll add Twixter to it again. And you're going to change the frame rate to your frame, the appropriate frame rate that you're using right now. And then find the speed that you want to use. You can use pretty much whatever speed you want, but you can't use negative speed because it'll give you like a weird picture on the preview and it won't come up. But you can use anything. I like to use between 1 and 10 sometimes. If I really need to, I can go less than 1, but I usually try not to. But that sometimes is like really, really, really slow. So I don't really enjoy using that too much. But then you're going to do that and go as far as you want with your music to sync it. Which is about right there. Take this all the way right there. Now see what I was talking about before. If you go ahead and try to play it, it lags out. So what you really want to do is wait for your Vegas to load and then pre-render it. And then it will come out much nicer. So that's pretty much it. It's just uh, use those Twixter settings and it should be the best without... Um, distortion, like I said, and use it without a lot of motion. Make sure the camera is like stationary, even though sometimes it's in the first person view, you want to make sure like the actual recording is as stationary as possible and there's only movement within um, the actual video. You want to make sure there's only movement like in this clip where it's his hand reloading the weapon. You don't want the whole uh, camera where it's actually being recorded to move. So those are my Twixter settings and I hope they work out for you guys. Thanks.